Ever wondered if your favorite piece is actually quartz? Or maybe just glass? Let me show you how to tell. So honestly, the first thing, price. If you're looking to buy a sphere that is perfectly clear and it's solid clear quartz, it's not gonna be $20. So your other first red flag, bubbles. So think of vintage glass. So what you're going to see is things like these little imperfections, these are little bubbles, you're going to see swirls in the glass, possibly where they've blended in some colors to maybe make it look like something. The other thing is temperature. Glass is a little cold but still mildly warm, stone is ice cold, unless you've been holding it a while. So a more subtle characteristic is when glass breaks. You're going to see what's called spalling, so do you see that kind of cone shape? in the glass. So I'm actually using mahogany obsidian, which is a natural stone, but it's essentially a form of glass. So it showcases that same break pattern. When quartz breaks, it's just kind of all over. You're not going to get these nice, almost polished faces on it. When you're looking inside a piece of quartz, you're going to get sometimes these rainbows. You're going to get almost kind of like these blades or sheets that look like they're in the inside. So this is where there's like minor fractures in the inside of the stone that create these points of a refraction that reflect light and rainbows back through the stone. Uh, in clear quartz, you're going to get spots where they're more cloudy, like the bottom here. And then you're going to get those nice bands where you're getting that nice, perfectly clear quartz up in the top quick last point to do only if you're desperate to know because if you do scratch it you could damage it is a hardness test so quartz is a hardness seven glass is a hardness of five if you take a piece of quartz usually like a point and you know that that's quartz try and scratch that piece with it quartz will not scratch itself if it's glass it will leave a mark Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit like and subscribe so you can get our future videos. If you also like the products that you saw, we have a beautiful store here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. And if you're not from the area, we also have an online store, yieldrockshop.com. Cheers, have a great rest of your day.